Pa-bum, pa-bum, pa-bum. That's so weird. It's like that. Why is that like that? I don't like that. Whoa. Why is that? Why is that like that? It should be. Oh, we're live, dude. We're live. Yo, we are. We're live. We are. We are live here. Whoa, it's the illusion reporting from somewhere on spaceship Earth. We are here on spaceship Earth. Yeah, it's been a little bit. It's been a little. What's going on, TNC from St. Louis? Here, wait, should we? Uh, where is it, dude? Where is it? No, where is See by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose bright stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight for the ramparts we've watched were so gallantly and the rocket's red glare arms bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave for the land of the free and the home of the Well, that was that was this morning at, at opening day of Little League here in, in the uh, Kern River Valley. So uh, that's what we were doing this morning while the uh, fear merchants and fear mongers were uh, wasting our time once again with the hustle, hustle, yo, yo. That was a little uh, seven-year-old girl who uh, got up and sang the Star Spangled Banner. In front of the uh, in front of the whole the whole crowd, dude, it was fantastic. So, uh, yeah, I mean that's that's uh, that's what we're up to up here in uh, rural America, man. We're playing baseball. We're singing the Spar Star Spangled Banner. We had hamburgers and hot dogs, and uh, we got the, we got the team off to a. Uh, we got the teams off to a good start, man. Weather was fantastic. It was supposed to rain today, but uh, but that didn't happen because um, God looked out for us today. But um, so yeah. Wait, hold on. I just got something. Just came in here live. Wait, hold on. And and uh, so yeah, it's it's uh. It's like that, dude. So we're on we're on the no hustle train here. We'll get we'll get all I'm sure we'll get all crazy and ranty today today because it's been a while. It's uh it's raining now and super stormy, which gave me a moment away from uh actual actual spring duties here on the uh here um here on the at the ranch, dude. Here at the ranch, man. So I really haven't had any time to, to to do any live streaming or break from what I'm doing. It's uh, it's been going really pretty well. I I have to say, like two years into this project, later it's uh, it's finally kind of rounding the corner. You know, a cu- couple weeks ago we had the baby goats, so we had our first first uh, live born mammals from the mammals we bought and bred. So these were our first, first generation of Talons Out produced livestock, 
which is fantastic. And then uh, the pigeons had another another couple babies, and and it got really cold, like five days ago and and one of the babies died and so we grabbed the other one and we're raising raising it by hand its name's donkey donkey the baby pigeon and then um and then uh one of our our chickens is sitting on a bunch of eggs so we we might be having our first generation of 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 chickens raised here at the at the uh, at the farm and um, my front pasture, front field that I've been working on tilling the soil and 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 getting it all mixed up with manure and and compost and all that stuff. I've, I'm planting it. I've got the irrigation all in, dude. I I got the irrigation all in for the 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 original lot. My strawberries are kicking off, dude. There, I saw the first fruit was coming out, and um. So the seeds are starting to pop up out of the ground, dude. So don't get distracted. That's all this is, dude. It's it's the giant, it's the giant hustle, man. It's the giant. This is all a giant hustle. So while the rest of the world was clutching their pearls and shaking their boots and deciding what team they were on. Okay. Um, wh why, what are you working on, dude? I don't even know what the heck is. Do you want to just do it later? We want to just start tomorrow, fresh start? Yeah. Okay, fine. Fair enough. Yeah. I think a Velociraptor sticker from there. So what I'd like to do is like, I draw my favorite, like, dinosaur stickers, and I put it under the whiteboard, and then I, like, copy it. Wait, let me show you something, guys. And, uh, we're, we're homeschooling and doing the thing. So besides, so yeah, while everyone was clutching their pearls, we were, uh, Doing Little League today, dude. And um, that was some. So, uh, you know, like, see this? I like copied that off of a whiteboard from a sticker. It's a Velociraptor. So then what I do is I'm going to print. So I'm going to print this one out in this, on a different piece of paper. And then color it in and then make more. Well, I could just make all my drawings first. So I could. So I might put like a T-Rex or something right here. And then maybe like, I don't know, maybe a... Go get your Megalodon wait, wait. one you did the other day, dude. That thing's rad, dude. Plus, no, the I'm not even done with it yet. I know, but let me just, let me no, just no, show no, what no, you... No, no, <laughs> Okay. Um, and then, so maybe I'll put like a... Oh, I know, maybe I'll put like a Triceratops here. And then I'll label them. And then label them on e what each dinosaur's name is. Print them out. And so the ink... I can see this is pencil, so it can stay on in case of anything. And then I just colored in pencils. Easy, because, like, the colored pencils are really hard to erase. Like, one little scrap of erase won't do anything. Yeah, yeah. Like, All right. Carry on, dude. Okay. I'm, I'm going to go work on it. First, I need to pick another sticker. Okay. Carry on. So, uh, so yeah, that's that's that, that's 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 what's going on with oh, Owl. Oh, I clean up my desk. It's really nice. Did you, so clean, you finally cleaned up your desk? Good man. All right. Okay. So, um, and then I got the, the red on yellows popping, popping, but, uh, so anyway, so, so that's, uh, yeah, it's, it's been a hustle. Yeah. Right. Sega one music. It's been a hustle since, since day one. Dude. It's, it's all, well, it's all to get you off the thing, right? Like it's a perfectly timed hustle. Cause what is it right now? It's springtime. Right. And it's time Which to one? focus Spanish on. Triceratops. triceratops always for the win. I love triceratops, dude. I don't like this five metal, but I think one of the triceratops. Okay. Crazy. All right. Triceratops okay. Crazy. All right. What we'll, we'll take your triceratops wait, wait, wait. and and go. Now you're distracting me, dude. Oh, fine. Let me just find it. Let me just see if you saw a different one. It was like right up here. Do, 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 do. Just, just keep doing your thing. I know it's hard. It's hard for me. It's like I got to get my zone. Silent. 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 You'll be silent. So um, all right. Let me just read the comments here for a minute. Now that we're up and running, up and running. Well, we got Dan Z, Isaiah Approach, brought his first motorcycle. Good for you. Good luck on that, dude. Wear your helmet, dude. Randall Pink or don't, you know, whatever, dude. Uh, Kaviki Karusta, Charlie, dude. Charlie, you're still alive and kicking. Good for you, dude. But I gather you're not where you should be, or you wouldn't have internet access. Brett, Brett, twenty one hundred. Brett, 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 Brett. 
Brian Braden, um, the high priestess, Vatican assassin, Warlong. How long ago did he start? Um, nine minutes ago, but you're, this is probably late. Trevor, dude, coming in from New Hampshire, dude. Reusing the irrigation control from the old pump house, dude. What I did was, um, so so what I did was I just, I uh, no, I'm I'm just piping it out and I'm just using lots of different valves. It's all valve control, valve control. But I did, I did dig up a bunch of, I did dig a bunch of lines. Actually, I made a video about it, but um, I dug a bunch of new lines, put in a new bunch of new water lines. Cause that's the thing that fully is, is, is uh, make or break here is just the heat when it gets hot and you're out there. You gotta just be able to turn the switch and walk away, dude, or you'll just get vaporized. And so, um, no, so all, so that's, I mean, so when I look at like the World War Three has begun thing, like World War, th it's World War Quadrillion. World War Quadrillion. Uh, oh, wait, here we go. There is wars happening out of that. The uh, the gas in the car is warring against the oxygen. The dinosaurs used to war. People back in the day when Jesus was around, they all used to war. Everything warred. Yeah, yeah. So it's not literally when you put a footstep on the dirt or ground or whatever with your shoes on or without your feet on, whatever that the dirt is really fighting against your feet. Those wars are happening. <laughs> there's probably a hundred quadrillion wars happening every second. So it's like, I don't even, I can't, I, don't, I can't even count them. Yeah, so don't bother. Go make your dinosaurs, dude. <laughs> from the mouth of babes dude right there dude that dude That's sees sees right through the hustle man sees right through the hustle so yeah, um so yeah i still got my motorcycle dude oh yeah of course you do. Uh, it's the idea is invading the brain yeah don't let it invade your brain well that that's what i we gotta have some fun with it right because like you, you don't see I, the, again i come from the two schools of thought at the same time right is um um uh dude i'm working on my new here what look at this t-shirt design i'm working on dude oh i drew you guys this t-shirt design yeah yeah uh be a spider not fly i don't know okay so uh and then and then i got this one the new the new lego tesla coil one i'm working on right there but um so anyway it's uh it's that thing of of it's all meant to distract you dude and so, okay, so, okay, like, so let's, let's play the, let's play the mental exercise for a minute, dude. Let's say it is, let's say it's, it's super is World War Three, the end, dude. Meltdown expected, sun zooming in, dude. The Iranians are going to go off, the Russians are going to join them, they're going to BRICS nations, they're going to go against the, the crypto dollar nations, and they're just going to clash and just send a bunch of stuff over and drone on drone attacks, dude, right, okay. Yeah, right. So what? So what are you going to do about it? Well, who's going to stop that? So it, it's one of those things, like just take it off the table. And I'm going to go back to the whole thing I've been going on about for a couple of years now is remove the nuclear weapons. There aren't any. Once you realize that, you realize the end game of the hustle. Dude, can you stop distracting me? Okay, you need to go. Instead, this dinosaur, whatever this thing is, it's yeah. not dinosaurs. Wait, it looks, it's a big guy. I think I'm going to do pterodactyl. Okay. You got your dinosaur? Are you ready to go? Yeah. Well, let me clean all up. Oh, uh, now you got to clean up your mess? Yeah, I'll take like two seconds. Oh, uh, two second mess. Is, is once you remove that thing from the game, dude, right? Because, all right, wait, wait a second, dude. Oh, I got the Bob Marley lyrics right here, dude. Wait, where is it? Where is it? No, maybe I don't. Shoot, dude. <laughs> I thought I had him, dude. Where I just cleaned my desk. That's the problem, man. Where are they? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Where are the Bob Marley lyrics? I cleaned my desk better than you. Yeah, you did you clean your desk better than me? Thanks. All right. Well, darn, dude. I, we I got offered, close again. Can you go, dude? You're I fully distracting. I don't it's like now it's not the time to have a conversation, dude. I didn't want your help cleaning my desk, dude. I just wanted you to clean your desk, dude. All right, dude. Okay. Real, this is real life, dude. And it's, can you just wrap it up, dude? I am. It's, it's way longer than two seconds, dude. We've moved past the two-second hustle. Next time, just say it's going to take me a minute, man. Yeah.
two seconds. That's a weird thing to say. It's never going to take you two seconds. Fine, I'll say it again. Okay. Oh, geez, dude. All right. Maybe I'll stick my sticker somewhere. My you should stick sticker. your sticker on your mouth and go. <laughs> All right, close the door behind you, dude. You're the man. So, uh, so it's, it, it's, it's, it's all the thing. Okay. Back to the, back to the thought, right? Is so what? Let's say it is world war three. So what? Are you going to stop planting your seeds again? Is it springtime in the Northern hemisphere springtime in the Northern hemisphere? And what I've learned doing this up here now for you have a short window to get it going, dude. All right. Here, thank you. Honey. No, you're welcome, dear. And you're the best. I'm sorry, what? I said you're the best. See, no, I, I'm sorry. I couldn't hear you. What you're you... the best. Oh. Dude, why are you? Are we live right now? Yeah, yeah. Oh, what'd you say? Yeah, you're the best. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh Uh, fresh cup of paraplegic brand coffee right there. Mm. Paraplegic, go. Paraplegic. Yes. Uh, well, I, now when the now we coffee at yeah, paraplegic. I have his new sticker knife. Sticker yeah, wait, wait. I think I have the perfect paraplegic sent me the perfect sticker for Al Sco, dude. Stickers. I know, dude. I even have another book. I have so many. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got you, dude. Oh, where is it? Wait, oh, here it is, dude. Here's paraplegic's perfectly appropriate sticker, dude. Perfectly inappropriate, appropriate sticker right there, dude. So get some coffee, dude, right there, dude. The uh, get him, get some of his uh, paragliding propagandic Palestinian pea berry, dude. <laughs> So, 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 all right. So, so who cares, right? At the end of the day, dude, there's a short window where you can get your seeds into the ground, right? So like, like for them to grow, dude, because before you know it, it's summertime, dude. And when it's summertime, a lot of stuff just doesn't want to grow. It, it likes the spring season before it gets too hot, dude. So you got to get your seeds in now. But if you're busy being like it's the end of the world, World War III, you lose a lot of motivation. I don't really get, I find it to be the exact opposite. When these dudes pump the fear, I get fired up, dude, because you know what I know when they pump the fear? It's time to double down on positivity, man. And and that that's all I see with this thing is, 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 you can sit there and glue yourself to the to the whole thing and be like, oh, my God, dude, like it's the end or you can go. It's the beginning. It's it's the beginning, dude. Like maybe maybe should we get a live stream going on in the background, dude? Here, wait, what do we got here from these clouds? Uh, dude, did we get? Oh, yeah. OK, we'll put that on loop, dude. Here, let me go. Let me just get this for for fun. Oh my God, dude. Oh my goodness. Bah. So, so ah, they've all gone on their planes and left. They've all like, like so, man, I was, dude, I saw this stuff at the sphere, bro. This looks like a show they had going on at the sphere, man, the other day. So what I'm getting at is, is, if you waste any of your time like this, because again, it's sort of like the November 2nd thing that's coming your way. What does it matter if you don't act now? So, so again, it's like, if it's World War III or it's not, why, why would you stop doing anything you're doing to move the ball forward in a positive way? Why would you go into fear? Why would you sit there and be like, oh my God, this is this is this is terrible because they want you to sign the contract. I'm going to keep going back to the whole thing about the contract. It's about the contract, man. Don't sign the contract. And the contract if you if you turn your head and pretend it isn't happening, you've signed the contract as well. What you got to do is you got to look right at it. You got to look dead center at it and laugh at it. And be like, so that's the best you got, dude. 
That's what you're going to do. You want me to be afraid because so there's two ways they get you to sign the contract. One is apathy and the other is fear because because apathy, you're just signing the contract by by not participating at all, which under maritime law is to sign the contract because they sent the paperwork out. You understand like this is them sending the paperwork out and being like, do you consent or not, dude? And you can pretend it's not happening, but then you're consenting to it in, in an apathetic way. Or you get afraid and you're like, oh, my God, dude, America's greatest friend is being attacked by the Ayatollah of rock and roll. Dude, should we can we pull? I don't know if that might be a copyright infringement. Do we care? Do we care, man? And. Yeah, I don't. I'm, when I'm gardening, I don't worry about any of it. So my whole new thing is is I sent my I set my garden up the big one, the big one like this. Here, I'm gonna draw a little map for you, dude. It's super hoopty, dude. Uh, I'm doing a terrible job of it, dude. Wait, hold on. I gotta get right here. Wait, that's the gate. There's the there's the thing. There's that. All right, hold on. Just give me a second. Hold on. Just bear with me one second. I got to give you my, my garden plan, dude. Oops. So I set up my garden like this, right? So if this is the gate down here, where's the gate? I set up my my beds so you and so there's no straight line. You have to walk in order to get to this part of the garden, you have to walk this whole path. So I set it up like a big S, right? And I was because I had it all designed where you could walk one way between all the beds and the whole thing. So I made my beds into these interlacing things, right? And the what the reason I did that was was I was like I want to I want when you enter the garden open the gate you have to slow down. That's the whole point, dude. You have to slow down, take your shoes off cuz I'm running my my garden see now that I've done all the like the shovel work and stuff. The garden is meant to be barefoot so you can ground yourself and you got to walk the path anytime you got to do it. And I like I find it super annoying sometimes. Cause I just got it going and I made a decision and I ran all my irrigation. I ran all my irrigation down the fingers. Right. So I got my, my pipes, my, my hoses, my irrigation hoses go out like that. So there's no way to backtrack on this thing. And then I got my, I putting copper in the ground and the, doing the whole thing. Right. My whole point being is, is when you enter the garden, you're supposed to take your shoes off and like walk the path. Get all in the zone, man, and grow with the garden, right? Grow with the garden, grow with the garden, man. And um, yeah, that's that's where I'm at. So when I see all this stuff coming up, I'm like, I'm not, I'm not buying, dude. I mean, I'm not buying at all. You can though, and and you don't need to buy that. I have the, I have the thing, dude. Hey, honey, can you bring me a bottle of the tincture with the sticker on it, please? Uh, don't worry. You don't need to do it right this second. Just take your time. So, again, I have protective gear for the hustle. My own hustle. Hustle. So, I, I'm making, I've been making tie-dyes again, dude. Yeah, dude, get hippie with it. So, this is about, I'm doing the the tie dyes for the 2024 shirts, the tuned out turtle right there. I'm not that good at tie dyeing, but, uh, but you know, but I've also been running a whole new scene, dude. So, so the hustle, hustle, ignore the hustle. I've got the Tesla coils with the red looks pretty popping, dude. 
I've gotten way into the colors on the ink lately. So I got the Tesla coils and the rad. This one came out pretty good too, dude. Look at this. The blue bunny rabbit, avoid the rabbit hole 2024, dude. That'll protect you from the hustle. And then these, these look, these look fire, dude. Look at that, dude. Building the reality, dude. Boom, dude. And then um, I got the pink and blue rabbit holes. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Appreciate it. Yeah, of course. The pink and blue rabbit holes. And and then I got the gray red. I did, this one's pretty good too. But and then and then, dude, I got my first. First, uh, oh, and then I got the stickers going on, dude. Finally, I got some sticker packs going on. I got to list all this stuff. So if you go to my Etsy site, none of it's there right now because I've been busy, dude. I got the, I got the, the, you are the high frequency Tesla coil sticker. I got the talents out ranch sticker, dude. And I got the, uh, the old school one. I got them small this time. I don't know why. I just thought they should be small for some reason. Oh, I wanted them to be labels. And then I got my first batch of this, dude. My first tincture, dude. Look at that, dude. Look at that tincture, dude. This is the uh, the lavender tincture, dude. Boom, dude. But it's not for not for the uh, the alcoholic, dude. You get drunk off this stuff, probably. It's the tincture right there, man. Boom, dude. Talents out ranch. That looks good, doesn't it? Bam, so I got I got like six bottles of that, dude. The first first batch of of uh, a product grown from the land, grown from the land here, dude. So we're uh we're 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 making progress. That's me counteracting. That's me counteracting World War Three, dude. By hustle, hustle. Like so, so if their old game is the hustle, hustle back. Like hustle them back, Re invert the hustle, right? Reverse engineer their hustle, and and everything's gonna be okay, dude. Because I'm just I'm over the whole the whole thing. So I had a buddy of mine yesterday, dude. He got a, he texted me, but he's 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 a little bit cutarded, dude. I love my bro and all, but he's cute hearted, dude. And he was sending me these videos about, I don't know, dude, they're going to lock them all up and the tribunals and the military court of justice and the whole thing. And I'm like, bro, I'm like, you like, you got to get freer than that, dude. I, I I was like, so dude, so let me see your plan for saving this whole thing is to put the military in charge. <laughs> You're going to be what? So the, my dude's answer to like the freedom of the, the of the tyrannical system, right? Because let, let's face it. We live in a lower dimensional reality run by tyrants. It's been that way forever. It's always going to be that way until we come to the realization that we are the tyrants. We are our own personal tyrants. I, I know it's, I, I keep coming back to it because that's the secret to the whole thing is to realize that the tyrant you fear most is yourself. If you were, if you were left in charge, let's say you were the, uh, the president of, of one of these, these people farms. Pick a people farm, dude. I don't know. Germany, uh, Syria, Chile, um, North America, America, Canada. Pick pick a people farm and you're the leader of it, right? So you get in there and you're like, oh, yeah, I'm all rad, dude. I'm super about freedom and the whole thing. And I'm, I'm going to go run the show. And you get up there and it's just a bunch of, of, of just lunatic generals and dudes in suits and corporations and and just all just screaming at you ah, and then there's a bunch of people just in there waving their signs and the whole thing and 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 so you're sitting there in your office dude you're running the show and you're, you're you got your office you're the president and the whole thing running your people farm and you're just besieged by lunatics and their agendas and it gets to the point where you actually like don't see any of reality it's just all these people just squawking at you squawk 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 you forget that that they represent about like one percent maybe 
maybe they represent a tenth of a percent, a hundredth of a percent of the people out there. But they're just squawking, bah, 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 corporation plant that they got. And you're sitting there and 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 you forget that the other 99.99% of the people are just minding their own business, going to play little league soccer, eating falafels, going to fast food, watching TV, doing whatever dumb stuff people do, dude, right? And so all of a sudden you like. You, you, just you, you, just you're the person, right, in this situation. All of a sudden, you just, like, the switch flips, and you're like, fuck them. Fuck everybody, dude. I'm going to round these clowns up. I'm going to bomb these kooks. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. And all of a sudden, you're the tyrant. Because I will tell you, if you haven't done the me mental exercise to realize what you would do if you were in charge, look, man, I'm all for, I'm all for peace, love, granola, and and world peace, and the whole thing, dude. But I know myself. I know myself, and I can tell you, dude. Like I would be a brutal, brutal tyrannical dictator if i was running the show i wouldn't be any different than any of the others so so thinking that any of these people are any different the orange man's gonna come save me dude sleepy joe guy's a bad dude oh this guy that guy dude just look at yourself and just ask yourself what you would do under that situation oh the mining corporations up like look at what's going on down in ecuador dude Look what's going on down in Ecuador, man. I was, I was, let's, let's think about what Ecuador, Ecuador was the place that had the embassy that let Julian Assange seek asylum for eight years ago. Now Ecuador is like sending the corporations to just harm the indigenous people from the land for their mining operations, dude, to, to, to get their rare earth minerals out of there. Right. So so again, is, is don't look any further than yourself for your own tyranny, right? And so when we forgive ourselves and understand that, like, that the theme, that, that what we're afraid of most. Okay, go do a rain walk. Fantastic. Go get it, son. And then you would understand, man, that I fully lost my train of where I was going with all this madness, dude. That's going to be okay, dude. That you're the answer to your own solution, man. And that that what you need to do is, is not be distracted by blaming them. Again, that, that's why, like, I don't... Maybe I've got... So I've gotten quiet in a little bit because it's super simple. The minute you stop blaming them, the system, who are they? The the military-industrial complex, the the... Monsanto's, the big pharma's, the them's, the those guys, the mining corporations. The minute you stop blaming them and take responsibility on your own level, the quicker you are to a solution, right? And and, and it, trust me, I in my 20s, I used to blame all those guys. I blamed all those guys up until pretty recently, actually, dude. Ah, it's the it's big pharma's fault. Big pharma ain't doing nothing to me, dude. That I don't do to myself, dude. Ah, it's the food corporations. They're not doing anything to me either that I don't do to myself. Ah, it's the military industrial complex. They're not doing anything to me either, dude. It's 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 these guys. It's those guys. They're not doing anything to me either. It's me actually doing all of this to myself. It's me that eats that used to go eat their crappy fast food. It, they didn't force me to pull into a Taco Bell. They didn't force me to drink a Mountain Dew, dude. They didn't force me to pound beer, dude, out of my mind. They didn't force me to snort cocaine. They didn't force me to do any of it, dude. I voluntarily just showed up and was like, I'm going to wedge your food, drink your booze, snort your drugs, watch your porn, watch your television programming. I live in a life now where I don't watch their programming. I don't eat their food, generally speaking. I don't do their drugs. 
And and that was like, I, I stopped doing all that stuff, what, eight, nine, 10 years ago, right? I've been sober 14 years. So I stopped doing their, their alcohol and drugs 14 years ago. And then I cleaned up my diet. And then I had my son and I really woke up to the big pharma thing. And I was just like, I'm opting out. I opted out. Then, then the big, the, the coof hustle came in 2020. And I was like, I'm not participating in that either. In fact, I'm going to go read the laws and oh, it's all consensual, dude. So I'm not going to give you my consent. And so here we are, dude. And and now it, now I guess I'm on the other side of the like, I'm not going to participate thing into like, and when I was not participating, right? When I was not so if I let's let's just say me in 2019, 2019, I'm anti big pharma, I'm anti big agra, I'm anti this, I'm anti, I'm all anti, I'm all of it, I'm anti, I'm against, I'm against, I'm against, but I had yet to cross the line where I'm now doing right. So it took getting up here and getting back into the land to really become like oh. When you're actually doing the stuff, you don't have time to be anti it. When you're actually out there planting your plants and being like, dude, like I'm racing the, the sky clock. I'm racing the sky clock. It's going to be summer before I know it, dude. I'm, I'm almost, I'm late. Ah. When you're actually like birthing your animals and, and making sure the predators don't get to your chickens and you're homeschooling your child and you're, you're, you're on the, the, little league board and you're a trustee down at the church you're in action perpetuating like the opposite of anti you're you're making plus what's the opposite of anti i don't even know dude like i can't think like right now so so what i'm getting about it because like the first thing to do is to wake up and be like okay dude this this is bad this seems bad and then you go, okay, like, well, these are the baddies out there. It's all these guys. Ah, they're baddie. Yes, without a doubt, dude. The, the, they are bad beings. They are, they're, whether they are actual human beings or demon consciousnesses, I don't know. It's not even for me to figure out anymore. So you, you label all of them as like, those are the bad dudes. Those are a lot of the bad. That's bad. And you're like, I'm not letting it in. Okay. Well, most people stop right there and just be like, they're bad. I'm not letting them in. And they spend the rest of their time going, they're bad. I'm not letting them in. They're bad. I'm not letting them in. But then the other side of the thing, which I was trying to, I've been trying to wake my buddy up to who's cutarded, is the minute you get over the hump and you start actually trying to produce things from the environment, i.e. the world you live in, positively, you find out a lot of truths about how much work it takes to do these things. I don't wake up. I wake up. I have my cup of coffee. I walk out. It starts, dude. I got to, first thing I got to do is go take care of all the animals, make sure they're fed, they're watered, this and that. And then and then I then I come in, I do something else, boom, boom, boom. And then it's then it's all like like getting everything ready for the for the agricultural part of the season, right? So I can actually like grow some food and have a surplus and trade it and do all that. Cause I've been working on joining up with some other people at the church who grow their own food and getting like sort of a, a not a co-op, that's not right, like a barter system going on, dude. Cause everybody grows their own things, right? Like, and so. So you begin to do this thing and you realize in this process, the bad, there's, there's no bad dudes sitting around going, don't do that. Here, come take my Xanax. Here, come eat my McDonald's. Here, come do this. There's nobody, there's nobody out there going, hey, bro, stop doing that. Come eat my fast food. They don't exist. And that's what I'm trying to get at is, is when you really get focused on the, the opposite of the anti, when you get into the productivity, the abundance model of it all, those dudes no longer exist. They don't, they don't have any way in unless you kind of like go make a contract with them, get lazy. 
And that's what I found in the whole thing is like, that's why I don't like make do live streams a lot anymore. It's like, I haven't had any time to do them. Like to actually stop and get into the mental, like I usually have the mental mindset, but I'm out there like in the middle of like putting in a pipe or planting something or cleaning out the chicken coops. And I'm like, oh, this is time to go live. And I'm like, well, I got to finish what I'm doing here first. And, 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 and like play a little bit, dude, and get out there. I play without play ball with Al. We go out in the canoe. We go on our little road trips. We do our nature day, the whole thing. What I'm giving, getting at is, is the hustle, the hustle and the scam. If you have time to sit there, like that's why I talk to my buddy. My buddy's like, the government, you don't own your land and the government this and the government that and the this and the that. And I go, dude, I don't have enough time to get involved with that thought anymore. I don't have time to get involved with the, the new world order and the government and this. Now I'm quite aware that there's an evil cabal that's put a layer around the planet and pretending to run the show. But I guess when I got super spiritually like down and I really turned my life over to my savior, Jesus Christ, and and I did that and I really understood what it was giving me and instructing me about that it removed the fear that I don't need to fear any of this anymore down here. I'm not giving any of my power to anyone but God. And then God gives me the power to give it to my family, my loved ones, you, the whole thing. But nowhere in the process do I live in fear of of the system anymore. I'm not in fear of the government. I'm not in fear of the military. I'm not in fear of the Iranians or the or the big the big Z. I'm not in fear of the pharmaceutical corporations or the military planes that fly over. Yeah, sure, that thing could crash in my yard. Yeah, there could be a truck of toxic stuff that overturns and spills and just ruins everything there all these things could happen i could that the train could derail and send a toxic cloud over my way absolutely dude i could fall I, the tractor could crush me something could happen here to that this and that that's not what i have control over what i have control over is right here right now not distracting myself from the from the truth of abundance For the doomsday thing. That scam they're running right now with, oh my God, the the Iranians launched drones that took 10 hours to get from where they launched them to, to, to Israel. 10 hours, dude. Okay. All right, dude. I I mean, come on. If you haven't seen, and again, you're not going to get me to co-sign on to that, that the, the genocide isn't real thing. Like, that's insanity, dude. What I'm getting at is that these are all distractions being placed upon you so that you forget the truth in God's image perfectly. We were born free on this planet, dude. You're meant to be here right now. You don't need to be afraid. God didn't put you here to be afraid. God put you there to give him your fear. You're supposed to give God your fear. Go, God, I'm I'm, I'm so fearful of what's going on down here. I'm going to jerk off to porn 24-7 or smoke crack or do all sorts of stupid stuff. God, please remove the fear. And God's like, dude, I got you. Dude, there's no reason to be feared. Don't stop distracting yourself with porn and drugs and, and adultery and coveting money and all that stuff stop living in fear about that stuff and just start living in abundance and grace with me let me show you and so when i when you get to this thing and you realize i'm not i'm not afraid of of any of this stuff anymore end it i dare you they don't have it i just i just can't tell you enough they don't have the magic button dude They don't have the magic button. And you can be like, well, it's all been foretold in the Bible and all that. Yes, it has. 
But if you understand what it's told you, it is that the opposite of that. It said, this is all true. Occupy the land, grow in abundance, do it for God. You're supposed, you're not supposed to sit there and stop what you're doing and be like, oh my God, those guys deserve to die. And this is that it's foretold. It's in that. No, you're supposed to be like, oh my God, that's gnarly, dude. What do you want me to do, God? He's like, occupy the land, dude. Raise children, raise crops, get ready, dude. I'm coming back, dude. Like, get fired up, dude. You're you got eternal life. We're rocking and rolling interdimensionally all the way through the scene. Stop tripping. That's why I told you what was coming, dude. You don't even need to live in fear of that. Like, let it happen, dude. So what, dude? And that's what I'm getting at is, is, is when I hear people use that same part of it to justify the slaughtering of people. I go, dude, you can't, that is the antithesis of that men's that, that, that message. That's not what it's about. You're not supposed to get there and rally for the rally for the state of Israel to kill all those people because it means Jesus is coming back, dude. I'm telling you, dude, if Jesus comes back and he's and you're at the at the big gates in the book of life and he's like, so when uh when you when you thought I was coming back, what'd you do? Well, I rallied for the destruction and the slaughter of those children. It's gonna be like, dude, didn't you miss didn't you get what I was trying to tell you, dude? Do on to others as you would do unto yourself, dude. Occupy the land. You were supposed to not rally for the support of the death of the people. You were supposed to get busy occupying the land and raising beauty out of it. You were supposed to be busy planting seeds and growing trees and educating your child. You were supposed to look at the destruction of these crazy human beings going at it and eating each other and blowing each other up and be like, I'm not doing that because I have found the path with my Lord and Savior. It's, it's like, dude, like, so when I listen to these evangelical lunatics like that, scumbag sitting there and the and that that mike johnson guy like like just yeah we need to give more money blow up more people i go dude you fuck you man suck it dude suck it dude go plant some crops bitch i shouldn't be swearing it's kind of like contradictory in that sense but whatever we gotta get fired up dude that bear of allegiant coffee's just surging in my veins surging and so uh I so I'm getting like sweaty and stuff too, but um no so so when I when I'm getting at is this whole thing of when you really see it, dude. When you see it clearly, you're not going to get me to waste a bunch of time being like, oh my god, like dude, it's super obvious. Like like so so what is sitting around? going, I keep getting to this thing and I try to tell my buddy with it, like, who's all like cutarded and like the, the world's being run by a bunch of like demonic pedophiles and the military industrial complex. They're not following the rule of law and the military tribunals are going to save us all. I'm like, dude, who, so your best, so, so this is the mentality of people that are all World War Three, and, and who's going to save you, dude? Like on your earthly level, dude, like who's going to save you? And every like I, there's nobody who's going to save you that isn't like, yeah, I'm for big eye. I'm for the big eye, dude. Yeah. Those dudes, those dudes have shown themselves to be pretty questionable right now. And anyone rally into their defense? Super questionable. Oh, but the other guys, they got baddies too. Yeah. And. Those baddies would be you if the like I was watching. So I watched this crazy channel called the Electronic Info, Info and I can never say it, dude. The Electronic and and the hell is it called? Sorry, like what is it? I gotta get it right. Uh, in Intifada. The electronic in Intifada, right? It's so it's loony lefty, dude. It's loony lefty, but they. But I, I like to watch my loony lefty and loony righty stuff, right? And you're watching this crazy footage of this, these tanks moving into this rubbleized area of, of Palestine and the whole thing. And you're like, 
So those are the good guys, huh? The tank, the dudes. So the dudes, let, let me get this straight. Just remove the, the, the flags for a second. Like that those guys and this guys and they're terrorists and they're, they're, they're this and that. Just remove all that. The good guys have tanks and fighter planes and they drop bombs on children. Those are the good guys. Uh, I don't lean that way. I, I'm sorry, dude. The good guys, the good guys in my book are 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 busy like trying to figure out how to grow food for their family and they don't have any fighter planes. I mean, call me crazy. Uh, you're, you don't understand the ways of the world, bro. You don't get it, dude. Yeah, I get it. I get it. You come and drop a bomb on my little town, dude. You've got you've got a Hamas guy right here, dude. So just just flip the switch for a second. It's pretty easy to sit here and in 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 America with your subdivisions and your Taco Bells and your Mountain Dew and your and your programming, your Disney Channel, and be like, yeah, the dudes with the tanks are the good guys, and the dudes fighting back are the bad guys. Just ask yourself, what would you do if you were sitting in your little world getting rebelized? And that's the contract they're trying to get you to sign. They're trying to get you to sign. They're trying to get you to sign up to join the bad guys. The bad guys have the tanks, just so we're clear, dude. They're the military industrial complex. And I'm not hating on our brothers and sisters in uniforms. They're, they're, they are caught in a rock and a hard place, dude. Because again, if you understand who most people are who join the military, dude, they're, they're just looking for a path out of their own economic situation, dude. So I, I get into this um, collecting courts. Yeah, that's a good idea, dude. Al's been getting a bunch of courts. We got a bunch of rad courts when we were out in Southern Utah. Um, what I'm getting at, man, is is... This is all a distraction to get you not to plant your seeds right now. Uh, that's that's all I can see. It's 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 too perfectly timed. It's there. It's it's go time, dude. Get your little get your tomato plant in your window, dude. Get your get your little box going with some and grow some grow some. Put some some stuff in the soil. Take your shoes off. Stick your feet in the soil. Raise your hands up. Maybe take a big giant leap towards God, dude. It'll be okay. And um, you'll be fine, man. You'll be fine. Because again, for those who, who don't really want to like understand it, like again, it's like you're not an American, dude, because you don't support the big eye. If being an American is supporting Israel, then I'm not an American, dude. Sorry. I don't, I, cause I don't read that in my constitution, dude. Let, let, I don't read that in, in the, uh, the constitution. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. There's nowhere in there about Israel, dude. Like I could pull it up right here, dude. I'm pulling it up right now. Yeah. Let's see. Let me look in the bill of rights really quick, dude. Bill of rights. Bill of Rights, United States, dude. Um, let me see, let me get this straight, dude, right here. Article 1, dude. Congress shall make no law respecting the establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof, the abridging the freedom. No, nope. nothing about Israel in there. That's so trippy, dude. The Bill of Rights, the United States. Let me see. Uh... Uh, let's see. I need one that's not done in cursive, dude. The where is where's one not done? done where's where's ah, they're all done in cursive, dude. What I'm getting at, dude, is 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 nobody's look. If if you understand the thing, is is the one weird twist with our form of government is God granted us. Our rights. It's not dependent on us. Some of our best friends out in the desert, dude. That's got nothing to do with America, by the way. That's got to do with the military industrial complex, dude. So you can root 
for like the military industrial complex, but you don't get to wave the American flag, dude, because that's you not reading your constitution. That's you not reading the Bill of Rights, dude. That's you not even understanding the dudes, the, the founding fathers, whether you buy them, they're ma- they're masons, dude. Okay, fine. But if you buy them that they were they were anti-interventionalists, dude, they would be pissed right now. All those founding fathers would be like, what the fuck are you guys doing, dude? What do you mean? We're what? No. Go plant your crops, dude. We're supposed to the military is supposed to protect us so we can plant our crops. We're not supposed to be sending our our, our military on adventures. What? what? Those dudes would be tripping, dude, right now and just being like, that's not no. What do you what do you mean? You're supposed to be raising livestock and educating your children to be better people. Why are you giving them an iPhone and telling them to go that it's okay to go blow people up? It's insanity, dude. And um, so as we come to the hour here. I'm sure I lost, lost a couple subscribers there. Yeah, no one no one wants to hear that, dude. Because you got to be one or the other. You got to be black and white. You got to be right or left. You got to be up. You got to be down. You can't actually like stand on your, your truths. You can't actually stand on the truth of do unto others as you would hope them to do unto you, dude. So I, I'm not, I'm not getting back. I'm not getting into the whole, the whole thing, man. So, you know, that's more, more I'm at. So I'm not buying into their hustle, dude. I'm not, I'm not fearing their world War three started yet today, dude, or yesterday or whenever the Israelis blew up the embassy in Syria and Damascus, dude, like, come on, man. Like just keep roll back the clock a little bit, dude. And, and, and I'll tell you what, man. It's pretty obvious that the conservative movement's been taken over by lunatics, just like the woke left has too. They all, they all agree, dude. Some dude in a suit's gonna save you, dude. Should I put a suit on? Would you feel better if I wore a suit and I told you I was gonna save you, dude? No. Nah. It's a dude in a, it's a it's 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 a dude in a robe with the crown of thorns that's gonna save you, man. But you know, that's for you to figure out that and and again, as as is this isn't about this isn't me telling you you're wrong and I'm right type of thing. This is me just going like, look, man, I'm gonna wake up tomorrow. I'm gonna do a bunch of work on the farm, I'm gonna go to church, I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna do a bunch of work on the farm. It's gonna be a super nice day. I'm gonna keep planting stuff. Make sure I'm going to milk my goat, dude. We're, we're right on schedule to start milking the goat, dude, getting fresh goat's milk and, and all that kind of stuff. So, dude, if you wore a blue blazer and a red tie, dude. Yeah, dude. So, so I should I should start wearing a blue blazer and a red tie, dude. Is someone still connected to the media? There are at least two shows surrounding the war and the Civil War currently, dude. Yeah, I'm sure, dude. There's no shortage of it, dude. I mean, you can go like watch it, like it's super entertaining, dude. I mean, in a sick, the sickest of ways, dude. What's up? I took every all the creatures, all the humans, everybody to walk. Mama's done. Okay, well, so I'm done here too. You can get the little goats inside. Uh, you got that. I tr- no, no, I tried, and everybody was being defiant. Yeah, so well, it's, it's not, it's not right there. It's well, not go, it's, it, well, going to. It's your turn now. You're on. You got it, dude. There's the boss, dude. There's the boss, dude. Just told me it's my. I, I gotta get back out there. I gotta make sure the babies get put in. So the so the big the big animals. I can see, I can see, I can see with them, dude. All right, you guys, we'll be, we're going to get back more. Everything's, there's about, um, our whole like reality up here is changing in like a week. So, which is good, which means I'll be able to get back in here more. And, um, and, uh, you gotta be nice to the wife, dude. You want a nice life? Better keep be nice to your wife, dude. All right, everybody. Hey, don't. Yeah, yeah, for reals, dude.
<laughs> God bless, Carooster, Laggy Maggy, dude. Good night. Hey, everybody, man. Take it easy. Just whatever you do, just get fired up, dude. Just be sure. It's, dude, this, this is the great time to be positive, dude. Buy the dip, dude. Buy the dip. <laughs> All right, links down below, dude. But wait 24 hours. Let me get some new stuff up there on that. I'm going to have some of these up there and we'll go from there and, and later, everyone. And we're, we're going to get back on the rhythm here, dude. So, with that said, good night. Use the name tags.